Except in the line where two of your yeah, units can engage one of them. Exploit this. Um, of Empire Remember, Total War. Uh, we're going to do ways. another video, but this time we're doing a two versus two open plane battle. We have my army here, which is not set up yet, but I'm just going to do you a quick overview of my ally's army. So, basically, my ally has uh, got lifeguards, regiment of horse, uh, I think line infantry, line infantry. I think he's got mainly line infantry and yeah, all line infantry and one grenadier. Got another regiment of horse and lifeguards on this flank. In the centre, he's got a six limber horse artillery and a 24 limber foot artillery. The back, he's got a general and bodyguard. And over here, he's got more artillery, which is his 24 limber foot guards and a six limber horse artillery. He's set out in a line formation, which is going to be complemented by my. I don't like to play a long formations, as you will see from my videos, I like to play in tighter formations, which I think personally are easier to control. So I'm going to go in more of a tight formation like this, maybe a bit thinner like that, yeah, G. So G puts them into a group, and then I have general which is going to sit back here and the longer line to attempt not to get shot uh, my horses my cavalry are going to be deployed and support my flank over here now I think I brought skirmishes which is not a thing I am a f massive fan of in the game, but it's something the odd time I like to bring because it brings a bit of variation, personally, I think, to your army. I have bought fire rockets. The special abilities, but I don't know if are I found in the bottom right corner of the screen. These turn on any special formations so or abilities a selected uh, unit has available to one it. Over there, one over here. The button is disabled. So I'm actually going to bring my formation skills. over here. No, actually. No, no, no. Cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. I'm going to turn my formation into a position over there. Where's my ally actually deploying his men? On this flank. Bring my horse artillery over here. Double speed just to get them into position. We'll do trying to get as many shots as possible. I've actually lowered my graphic settings a little bit. I'm sorry if there's quality different. But because we were getting a tiny bit of frame loss, and I I thought that maybe you guys would prefer better, better frames than um, quality. So my general needs to be a little more centralized. Why is he all over there? See him over here. So we're going to actually limber our guys into position and prepare to fire. I'm 
more attack from this flank, but I also want to try and support my ally. He's actually pushing up, so I think what I'm going to do is going to push my men up a little bit. Rather than double speed, there's no point. D-limber and try and reposition troops over here. Come on, get on your horse, little pagans. Come on. I didn't know they were going to play so much over here. I'm gonna try and fully centralize some of my guys. So these guys are gonna keep firing their rockets at these guys. One out of the position again. These are skirmishers. This is 
for a team is the equivalent, I think, of my name. So it's going to be two, basically. which are firing at will. Winning combat. This 
unit of red coats over here. He's doing some pretty good combat. It is Great British Line Infantry versus Austrian Line Infantry. It's a pretty good combat going over there. There's a general bodyguard. These guys are getting the nice shots off um, riflemen. They're chasing down with some cav. Absolutely destroyed in that process. Get wrecked. We're going to bring them in to take care of this light infantry unit, which is going to get in the way. This unit's going to take some nice shots on that. Charge out of formation into here. position as well. That was the end of the battle of that, so I'm going to look at the stats here. So I deployed 509 men, we lost 500, uh, 1,509, sorry, um, we lost 558 men and we killed 1,337 and my British ally, who deployed less troops than me, who deployed 1,296 men, um, didn't deploy anywhere near as much as me. Uh, took pretty much all of his army losses because I was trying to take on forces at the other end and I wasn't really supporting him that much, that's kind of my fault but I did, I tried to save his rest of his units that were alive and I did, I ended up saving some of his army, I saving like 200 men um, and he killed 1,301 men, basically pretty much what I killed so it's really good, we got really good solid combat now the second, the first one is um. Austro-Hungarians, um, they deployed 1,092 men, um, which is a pretty small army, but they deployed pretty good troops. Uh, all these were AI picks, um, because, yeah, they just were, and uh, he picked kind of more upgraded troops and stuff like that, which he picked a decent army, and his was, he really tried to support here, if you see, if I just show you. These are in the background here. These are all Austro-Hungarians. Austro and I think this is what's left of the Austro-Hungarians. More of them here. All of these are fleeing Austro-Hungarians, which were the ones I was facing originally. And um, so they deployed quite a few, not that much. Uh, but they lost pretty much the whole army, 931, and they killed 472, not much, uh, which equivalent to most of my army losses. 
they created a lot of damage to me. And they were the first ones to surrender. Yeah. And we won. So that's losing team, winning team. Um, so the next one is, what are they called? I can't remember. But that little flag, you'll know what it is. It's, uh, I can't remember. Austria, that's it. Austria, 1,860 men they deployed, which is the biggest army on the field, which is bigger than mine. So it made up, that's what made up for the other one. So between us and my ally, we had 700 more troops. So basically, in the equivalent, they had probably more men than us. But we were able to take the battle because of strategy and I just kind of push forward on the flank. Uh, if I would have kind of had more people to face uh, with the Austro-Hungarians, I'd have more to face on that flank and they didn't mostly try and support um, their ally, then probably I could have lost a lot more and be tied up for a lot longer and it would have been harder for me to go send and support the British, which probably could have lost that, which could have lost that whole army, and that would have been screwed for me, because I would have had 1,800 men closing upon my flank, and I didn't have the micromanagement skill there to put some troops in place because I was I was tied up at the time trying to micromanage people up the front, and I couldn't really do it at the moment. But they lost their whole army; they lost 1,790, and. Um, they only killed 995 men, and they could have made a lot of use of their numbers. They could have really piled on my units, and my units were decent line infantry. We had to do some decent support skirmishes and decent cannons firing back. But if they could have just pushed and maybe just made a full front and fired rifles at me, or even just charged straight into the front of my men I could have lost because I had no supporting troops because I spent that extra money on those skirmishes that meant that I lost out on that extra inf infantry that I could have deployed which I didn't so they had more infantry power and those skirmishes were pretty much useful useless to put into infantry fights but we're gonna look at units of you know statistics that's it so um, we we'll look through here. Uh, these are all my men. So the general lost zero and got 18 kills. I don't know how because I don't really move him. Uh, line infantry generally um, cost worthy. We've got pretty decent. Uh, artillery didn't do as well as I thought they'd do. But these um, cavalry did actually do some supporting work at the end. Some pretty decent kills from these skirmishers. Line infantry all around did a pretty decent job. And the rocket troop didn't get that much. So all around we didn't really get do that well on cost worthy. Some of the line infantry did get their cost like this one. This line infantry here got 1,173 kills. And only lost 79 men and deployed 120. Uh, I don't think I lost a single unit till the end. I think I lost one artillery piece out of all the artillery, which I think was really good. So that was the battle, so I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to comment down below what you thought of the video, like and subscribe for more, comment down below some Q&A questions, and go follow me on Instagram, which is Unite Gaming, official fan page, follow me on Twitter, which is Unite Gaming, or Facebook, which is Unite Gaming, go follow me now. And you can also Snapchat me at Connolly's. You can go Snapchat me down below. Uh, yeah, that'd be really cool to get some Snapchats from you guys. It'd be really cool to see some of you, see your faces. And yeah, so see you guys in the next one. Peace.